Welcome to round two. Let's join the match here. Uh, oh boy, I think I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> I'm greedy. I mean, one more land means that we can go big with the Tormenting Voice, and you know, uh, we have a bunch of of red sources in our deck, and we are on the draw. So I'm gonna keep this. And also the fact that I have a, a, a Drake Haven in my opening hand with a land that can eventually uh, give me blue mana is, you know, is great. Also the fact that I have a nice defensive guy there. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, I guess at least that's a, a, a cycler, right? If I don't draw into a mountain next turn, then I can just play the Painted Bluffs and cycle the, the Pursue Glory. All right, apparently that is what's going to happen here. And I even have an, another cycler, but I certainly like would rather uh, keep the cyclers for when I have the Drake Haven online, but it's not like we have much of a choice at this point. The good news here is that we may be able to just uh, uh, fuel our graveyard for the, the War of Fire Javeliner. Let's cycle this. Hmm, too many voice, huh? Come on, land. Any land, really. Alright. That is annoying. Let's try this. Alright. There we go. The problem is he's already started playing guys, although he, he doesn't have much of a board position. He didn't play anything on turn two, meaning that we can, you know, sit back here for a while. <clears throat> I'm gonna be drawing stuff off, off the deck guy though, which is always annoying. One hand, he, I mean, one, one extra land here, I guess I just go ahead and play the Soul Stinger. Ooh, Oracle Vault. Hmm, that guy, huh? So, I guess I can discard a Manticore to draw two cards. Hopefully one of them will be lands. All right, a couple lands even. So I can do this and play a Jumbio. So I think we may get there because if, if he's going to try to get me with Oracle Vault, it's going to take a long time to do that. Yeah, he's going to play the Cartouche on his, on his Naga, which is annoying. Uh, we have, let's see, one, two, three. So we can just go ahead and kill that thing. Is that right? With the Javelin here. Sure. And leave one mana up for a possible magma spray. Let's attack him for one. Yeah. Orphan's Vault is a great card, by the way. I, I just haven't been, been able to draft it yet. I've seen a bit, uh, you know, a, a bunch of them, but I could just never go ahead and take, and take it. There was always something better in the pack. All right. Labyrinth, Guardian. Defiant, Great Maul. So I think, let's see. This thing is gonna be a, a, a it's gonna put two counters there. Nah, I would rather make this thing a two, three then. Let's magma spray that guy so he, he's forced to shrink his own uh, uh, heat ball. So if we draw in, we can just go ahead and. Uh, I guess we play the Arc Fiend. Yeah, well, he has four cards in hand. Ain't that right? So yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn, if if we un actually untap with the, the Arc Fiend in here, ooh, actually, for another target creature, so that guy, <laughs> it 
it actually has built in uh, protection from <laughs> my arc fiend. That that's gonna be interesting. Either way, uh, what I wanna do next turn is untap, obviously, then play a Drake Haven, then be able to turn any voice something away. Angler Drake. He won't be able to play an angle an angler Jake Drake right now. <clears throat> play an island, sure. Alright. My guy still has the ability. Okay, a cartouche, so that thing is going to fly and probably attack me for three right now. Alright. Hmm, that's great actually. That's super great. So uh one, two, three. Alright? Let's do this. Then let's do this. Discarding the Soul Stinger. Shrink his dude and pay one to, to get a Drake. Then draw, draw a couple cards. Then we get to play an island. Do we even want to? I'm not sure. Either way, let's attack. I mean, you know what? I, I am going to attack with the Arc Fiend too. Because the thing here about, about the Arc Fiend is he, he, he could have something to force me to block. And if that's the case, then uh, <laughs> I would just rather have it be tapped instead. Alright, exile on island. Now this thing is going to be casting stuff off the top of its library every turn. It's going to be annoying, but you got to remember to take out the Pursuit Glory for that thing that destroys artifact and, and lands. <clears throat> right. Oh boy. Okay, so Let's cycle this thing. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold control. I mean, I'm going to cycle this. Because I want to, to magma spray this thing here. I'm not even sure if that's going to work. All right, it happens at the same time. So we, yeah, he can, right. Let's magma spray that thing. Uh, yes, I am going to pay one. Let's see what we draw. We draw a mountain. Hmm. Let's play the mountain. Let's see, if I actually get two guys back, I won't be able to make a drake out of it, right? Uh, could get back the, the, the sewer done. I would, what I mean is, I wouldn't be able to, to make a, a drink out of the sewer done because I'm, you know, I'm gonna try to, to get stuff to cycle here, maybe. No, I don't think we need to do that right now. What I am going to do here is, I am going to attack him. No, I'm not, I'm not going to attack him. Or maybe I am. Yes, yes, I am. Like, if he has something, if he wants to, to like, kill my, my, like, block my, my Javaner and pump his guy to kill my guy, then it's going to be great because I can get it back with Wandering Death. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I could just go ahead and... and, and around the Wandering Death right now, but I don't think I want to do that. Because I want to, like, if he eventually kills my Arc Fiend, I want to be doing that. Ooh, alright, it's going to spring to mine. I guess he, he has to do this before, right? I mean, he should. Oh, like, right. He did spring in order to get, you know, have less lands on, on his deck.
Oh, it's another you put a counter. So yeah, all oh, right. Now I see it doesn't work with my cards. <clears throat> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Drake Haven. So I could go get a, uh, a zero don't hit it zero don't I, I would be able to make only one Drake so am I being too greedy here probably I probably am I think I'm going to actually cast this island and attack with these two here Okay, so if he kills my, my, my javelin there now, then I, all right, he did. Because I want to get full value out of this. Like, uh, right now, the board position is all mine, right? What's that, all mine? <clears throat> so I think it, it's okay to wait for a turn. Uh, not wait too long, though, because he has an Oracle Vault that's drawing him an extra card every turn. Champion of Ronas. Right. That's an interesting guy. <clears throat> Not that he needs it, because he, he has enough mana here to do whatever he pleases. I think he, he is afraid to run a bunch of creatures, uh, because I do have an Arc Fiend, right? But that's a way also for me, to, I mean, a reason for me to keep this thing in hand, because I think he's trying to find something to deal with the Arc Fiend. <clears throat> Alright, he has three cards in hand. Mountain. So... You know what, I think I'm going to run it, because now I, I have nothing else to play, right? So I need, need to, to, you know, keep keep drawing cards here. So let's get back the Zero Dawn and the Manticore. A one, two, three. <clears throat> All right. So... I guess I play a mountain, no reason not to. I can attack him with everything that I have, except for the Arc Fiend. <clears throat> See what he does. Alright. Okay, and okay. That's fine. <clears throat> if I draw into something else that, that cycles, then he's, he's in for a <laughs> big amount of trouble here. I'm paying one. Let's draw. All right, not a cycling card. So he keeps his his guys a two two there. But then we get to play this thing as a four four, which should add to the pressure on board. So he's gonna draw two cards at the end of his turn. <clears throat> has the 10 cards in hand. I, I still think it's going to be very tough in those colors for him to, to be able to uh, 
open into wonder yeah open into wonder doesn't doesn't work it's gonna be very hard for him to manage to and make my board position in, in the colors that he actually has, right? <clears throat> I guess he could have that thing that, that uh, deals two damage, I mean, X damage to, to every flyer. That would help him, but that's about it, I think. All right, getting that guy back, sure. In a class of people. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, well, I guess we can just attack him uh, for eight and then play the Manticore to finish things off. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what's happening here? Right. Let's put a counter here. And he's the opponent, obviously. <coughs> Alright. <laughs> that was a great game. <laughs> My deck did exactly what it, it it's supposed to to do. Uh, let's so let's take out uh, the pursue glory, and I think I could take something out for yeah. See against him, I'm not sure how good the magnum spray is, is. So like three might be fine. Yep, scrub fast. Nah, I mean supernatural stamina is not that good either because he has blue. He can just you know bounce our guy in response. And I didn't see any, any any fight cards from him, so supernatural stamina doesn't do what it does what it does best, right? So I and I think my deck is pretty tight, so there's no reason to dilute it to bring in another strategy right now. Uh, okay, I'm keeping it. I have a turn one cycler, turn two voice or cycler. No, I'm gonna keep. All right. <clears throat> so at the end of his turn, let's cycle the Sirodan. Okay. Ooh. This I like a lot. Uh, I think. Yeah, no real reason to, to play the the Termini voice. If he has a sensor, that that'll be so bad for me. So it's better just to run the, the Dune Beetle. <clears throat> so if he taps out, I'm certainly going for the Termaining Voice. Uh, I could just... So Termaining Voice, what do I discard? Because I, I don't think I'm going to discard a land. Let's discard a Warfire Javeliner, I think. Not sure if that's correct or not. I, th I, I think it isn't, right? I could discard like like the the, the, the Merciless Javeliner <clears throat> because it, it kind of has a sort of a. Uh, Redundancy with the, the Arc Fiend. What's that? Champion of Ronas. Sure. Violent Impact. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna just play a Swamp and a Soul Sting. This way, we, can, we get to block and uh, we get to double block even. Double block his guys and, and put the counters on whatever he chooses to, to put onto the battlefield with the champion's ability. <clears throat> oh, alright. I guess 
That could happen too. I'm gonna have a cartouche. I'm thinking he is holding a counter spell to to get me when I go to play my Arc Fiend. Oh, Angler Drake. Jesus, that's <laughs> that's preposterously good. Okay. Um, so do I run the Arc Fiend? I suppose I could, but he has four cards in hand. If he has a counter, I mean a sensor, he gets me. So maybe it's better for me to, to, to run a Merciless Javeliner instead. Ah, uh, man, if he has a sensor, that would be so bad for me. Although, let's see, let's think for a second here. If I have a Merciless Javeliner, what do I even do? I won't have enough cards. Yeah, like, I don't see myself winning this game if I don't have an Arc Fiend on the battlefield right now. So let's, let's try it. See if he has the sensor. All right, apparently he didn't. Let's hope he doesn't have any cartouches either. Oh, I think he might. A green cartouche. Oh, right, that thing. That thing is okay, a-okay. So if I draw a land, I may just run the... the oh, oh, no, I, I already have a land. Yeah, yeah. Taking four here. Ooh, that I like a lot. That I do like a lot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this, discarding the... So Stinger, so Stinger that is, uh, I'm going to draw two cards, okay, okay, so, I can discard the Violin Impact, or maybe I could get back something, do nah, nah, let's do this <clears throat> all right there's a sure shot there so we are going to attack him with our one four i think like if, if he doesn't have a, a, a removal spell here he's going to be hard pressed to to do anything because next turn jesus i'm going to play the javeliner and start just decimating his board position altogether <clears throat> What's that? A quarry hauler. That's that's fair. So I'm gonna take five damage this turn. Which granted is a lot, but Oh, he exerted his guy, sure. Yeah, right. So, the question is, do I cycle this? Oh, man, I f 6 right? So, let's see, one, two, three, four. Can... Uh, discard a card to kill this thing, maybe. Nah, he's exerted, so it's not gonna be that that much trouble for me here. I think that thing. So let's play two. Discard a swamp. And we do have a magma spray to kill something here if we if we need to. <clears throat> I 
So yeah, like green, green, blue is a color combination that that doesn't have a lot of ways to deal with the arc theme, and for that I'm I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> What is guy? Is that a cartouche? Yes, it is a cartouche, but I'm gonna answer that with a magma spray. <clears throat> so he doesn't get to, to draw a card from the cartouche, and next turn is just What's that? Three mana. I mean, if I tap if with this board position, there's just absolutely nothing he can do. Uh, open into Wonder, sure. Draw a card, at least. All right. So what do I do? I guess I just discard a card, right? And I'm going to discard the sure shot maybe. And maybe the Ember Horn to have enough mana to, just, to, to just like play the sure shot and have enough mana to cycle. And I'm gonna discard the sure shot. we go so let's attack him for five uh, I see Magnus like I want to leave men open here to do something so I won't play the Ember Horn in a turn because like if he has some sort of uh, uh, you know combat tricks to make this guy uh, uh, giant and just attack me with it then I get to just respond by shrinking it. <clears throat> yeah, that's n not a card that deals with the Arcane, I don't think. All right. Sure, so an island, we're not going to play that island because we want that to be father for the Merciless uh, Javeliner. Just attack, see what he does. Could just chomp. If he does, that's fine. Alright. One, two, three, four. So I'm thinking he's dead next turn? No, no, not really. I can only deal 10 damage total. Let's see what he does. Labyrinth Guardian. Annoying card, but oh well. <clears throat> Alright. And a giant spider, sure. So at the end of his turn, I'm going to do this, put a counter here. <clears throat> so, let's cast this one in death then. Uh, getting the sewer done, and this little guy here. A one, two, three. So we can cycle this guy to see what we get. Alright, a mountain that we are going to just discard. And we're going to attack with everything we have. 54. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not not exerting there. No need to do there now. All right. Well, this is his big turn. He has to muster something here to. Yeah, food what? Food waters uh, helps, I guess. But it only delays the inevitable, right? <clears throat> okay, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. He is going to be able to cast two cards now because his Oracle Vault, his Oracle Vault is is actually online. Scale Behemoth. Scale Behemoth is definitely annoying, but... <clears throat> it's annoying, but it's not going to save him. By itself, at least. Because I get to exert this little guy here. <coughs> All right, Colossapid is not going to be able to block. Neither is whatever that thing is. His. All right. So let's do this. Discarding the camera. Then let's do. Uh, Put a counter here so that he doesn't block. But he won't won't block anyway, right? So one, two. He's hardened. So and now we just attack with everything. Don't even need to, to exert. Just, just to, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so see you round three.